No. What we want is to calculate A up, the, A up here, right? So we can say 180 degrees because it angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus the 90 degree right with the right angle there 90 so minus 90 minus 33.56 equal 56 Point four four. So this angle A, and how you would write angle A is C A B. So we can say angle angle C A B. I'm going to put this um, upside down V over it is equal to 56, 56 point four four degrees. All right. So this angle up here is 56, 50, 6 point four four degrees. So this is this angle, okay? All right, now the question you must be asking, why did we go on and do that step? As you must realize that there is a shorter way to get um, angle A. Can you um, tell us what it is? There is another way that we can calculate the angle at A rather than doing it in the two-step process that we did in the previous slide. So what we're going to do, we're going to consider this angle as angle y degrees, all right? Good. Now remember the trigonometry principles that I showed you how my teacher taught me, so it was the cat sits on an Old ancient high house. So this is the same um, principles for trigonometry. And your teacher might call it Sokato, but my teacher didn't teach me that way when I was in grades nine or eight. Okay. All right. So looking on the the triangle, the first thing we need to make sure that it's a right angle triangle. How we know it's a right angle triangle? It has this right angle symbol. And we are given two sides, so we're, we're able to apply the trigonometry principles to find the angle for Y, which is at the angle A. Alright, so looking on the information now, we need to identify the size of the the triangle. So the longer side will be the hypotenuse, which is AC in this instance, and it is opposite the 90 degrees, so this will be the hypotenuse. The angle being considered now is up by Y. So the side opposite to the angle is what? O, so this will be the opposite. And the side adjacent the angle Y would be A. So we need to look on this trigonometry um, principle and see which one of the which one of these we're gonna use. So we have O 
and we have h so o upon h is sine right so we're gonna write sine y degrees is equal to what's the ratio opposite over the hypotenuse we're going to rewrite this step is equal to we're just going to plug in the formula o is 5 and h is 6 all right now just as before now we have to find the inverse of sine right so y would be equal to sine inverse and 5 divided by 6 let me get my calculator in bracket we're gonna put 0 0.8 Three, three, three. All right. Now, when you're using the scientific calculator, you need to make sure that it's on the decimal mode. Okay. So when we work out this, we're gonna get gonna press uh, second function sign, and we get this is equal to fifty six point four four two six degrees so when you round it this is greater than five the six here is greater than five so we're going to round up this to from two to three right so we're going to get y is equal to fifty six point four four three degrees if you're rounding it to two decimal places then it will be 56.44 degrees all right so this is how we could find the angle for a rather than doing the two-step um, procedure that we did in the previous slide okay we have come to the end of today's video we use the principles of trigonometry to find the missing angle in the next video We'll be finding the other angle and we're looking forward to seeing you in that video. Please stay care until then. Bye. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment and share.